Oh, how are you doing? Holden? Caulfield? Yep. Oh, okay. that's nice. Alright, we knew counseling. Alright. Now we're helping you out. I see. So you had a complicated past, I see. Have you had any other type of conflicts lately? Well, there was one time back when I was at like Pensy. Hmm. Should have write Stray Letter's composition about. It's gotta be something descriptive. Hmm. Let me think. What about Allie's baseball glove? Yeah, he always used to write poems all over that, so we could have something to read when he was in the outfield during games. He died of leukemia a couple years ago. What are you doing? That'd be pretty good, though. I'm right about that. I got it. Where the hell is everybody? It's like a goddamn Morgan here. What are you talking about? It's Saturday night. Everybody's home and sleeping. Did you write that composition? Yeah, it's on the bed. Christ's sake, Holden, this is about a damn baseball glove. So what? I said it had to be about a house or a room or something. You said it had to be descriptive. What's the difference about a baseball glove? Damn it, Holden, you do everything back ass word. No wonder you're flunking the hell out of here. You don't do one damn thing the way you're supposed to. I mean it, not one damn thing. Well, give it back to me then. What the hell did you do that for? You're back pretty damn late if she only signed out from 9.30. Did you make her late signing in? A couple of minutes. Who the hell signs out from only 9.30 anyway? Did you go to New York? How the hell could we? She only signed out from 9.30. That's tough. Listen, if you're gonna smoke in here, can you go down to the can? You may be getting out of here soon, but I have to stay long enough to graduate. Did you give her my regards? Yeah. The hell he did. What'd she say? Did you ask her if she still keeps all her tanks in the back row? No, what the hell do you think you did on that plate checkers? Cut it out. What'd you do with her all night then if you didn't go to New York? Nothing, I just sat in the damn car. Cut it out! Whose car? Ed Banky's! What'd you do? Give her the time at Ed Banky's car? What a thing to say. Want me to wash your mouth out with soap? Did you? That's a professional secret. Ah! What the hell did you do that for? Get off me, you crummy bastard! Shut up, Holden! You're such a moron, get off me! Shut up, Holden, or I'll slam you on! You're such a moron, you don't even know if her name's Jane or Jean! If I let you up, will you shut up? Uh, if I let you up, will you shut up? Yes! This is a stupid, dirty son of a bitch of a moron. Damn it, hold on, I'm warning you for the last time. If you don't shut your... Why should I? What's the problem with all you morons? They don't want to discuss anything. That's why you can always tell them more. They don't want to discuss anything intelligent. Uh, Damn it, hold on, you should, you should shut up when I tell you to. You had it coming. Go wash your face. Wash your own moron face. Pretty intense. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can help you out. So. <laughs> this scene is important because it shows how easily irritated and short tempered Holden is during Catching the Rye. Intelligent. Intelligent. Intelligent.